In the late 2019, it was announced that third-party cookies would be slowly phased out. This has left a lot of brands concerned about how they would be able to reach out to prospective customers. Marketing technologies has emerged as a solution. Additionally, in the last few weeks, because of the lockdown, a lot of customers have moved online. This presents an opportunity. To discuss more about this, we have with us Satyavani, who is the marketing technology expert at Mobile Software. Hi Satyavani, do you think the current situation will affect the adoption of marketing technologies? Will it work as a catalyst? COVID-19 crisis is something that none of us have predicted, nor did the brands. So in this particular situation, uh, there is no retail, there is no offline uh, stores, there is no e-commerce, there is no other things where the brands can reach out to their customers. Now, uh, brands are actually in a kind of a critical situation where they have to do look at their marketing strategies or uh, to decide on what should be the next move in order to reach out to their customers post this situation. And that's how most of the brands are looking as MarTech as the next big step to, uh, to add that to their existing marketing landscape i've been seeing a lots of brands varying from varying from different what you said or different uh, industries starting from uh, bfsi and then there is an fmcg uh, brands and then uh, and then uh, e-commerce and then retail automotive all of them are looking at martech right now since most of their advertising activities have become a standstill thanks satyan marketing technologies are not new to us but we haven't seen widespread adoption yet. Can you talk a little bit about the brands that have adopted MarTech or some aspect of it and how they are better off as compared to the brands who haven't? So uh, I think MarTech has been uh, in the digital world for a past decade, but most of the brands started to realize its importance post 2015, I guess. And then the uh, brands who have already leveraged it uh, are starting to see an increased uh, increased number of their revenues. And then there is an increase in ROIs and they are able to reach out uh, to the customers in a most and a more insightful way and understanding the customers better and doing a better marketing automation all of that uh, is giving uh, most of the brands an edge to uh, cut, uh, you know come over that competition against the other brands so in essence what are some of the martech capabilities how can martech today help brands improve their future so uh, when you look at martech capabilities martech capabilities is it varies from industry to industry and from brand to brand uh, martech stack for a uh, what you said uh, uh automotive and a bfsi and if you compare the fmcg or an ecoverse the stack might look different to each of them but fundamentally when we look at capabilities uh, the uh, capabilities that the brands can leverage out of martech is kind of humongous and out of that if you have to name some of them it it is the predictive analytics where predict where brands are able to predict what should be the next best move for a particular customer based on their previous uh, behavior with the brand and there is real-time marketing where uh, brands are able to know uh, at that particular instant what kind of marketing activity they have to do for a particular customer and then you have you know personalization uh, where brands are able to know what exactly the customer is expecting out of the brand and they are able to give that kind of personal experiences both on their owned medias and owned media platforms and their paid media platforms and uh, apart from that there is uh, AI and ML uh, driven data uh, driven marketing where you know machine learning technologies or techniques have been added to their existing data and they are able to do the whole marketing process and automated process where they can, where they are reaching out to the customers at that instant and at the right place and at the right time. I think these are some of the capabilities uh, that a brand can leverage out of MarTech if they are having the MarTech as a part of their marketing strategy. So in times like today, when understanding and retaining your customers is crucial, what are some of the baby steps that brands can take towards MarTech adoption? 
I think uh, when you look at a customer journey, customer journey is something which is never a linear process in this digital world. It is always a zigzag. So in that particular case, uh, you know, to understand exactly what the customer need is with the brand, there are actually like tons of marketing technologies outside for a brand to decide on what exactly has to be, uh, you know, included in the Martech stack. They have to look at their existing ecosystem both in tech technology wise and the marketing wise and then uh, you know draft a roadmap for the next two years of what should be their you know their goals or the metrics success metrics would look like if they have martech stack in their marketing strategy so i think uh, deciding on exactly what techniques they have to use is should be their uh, first step for any brand kind of brand and deciding on what exactly their goals are should be their first step before adopting any kind of marketing technology <music>